Hi DIYers, Joe from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to talk about glass break simulators. Glass break simulators are devices that are used to test glass break devices. Each manufacturer is going to have their own recommended glass break simulator to use with their glass break devices to test them. Basically what these devices do is they simulate the sound of breaking glass. This is very useful because glass break devices are kind of tricky to test. You may have wondered, how do I test this actual device? A glass break device, it's a security device. Usually you're gonna have it programmed into your system as a perimeter device, and it's gonna listen for the sounds of breaking glass. Each glass break uh, detector is gonna have its own recommended installation uh, for its optimal use. So you're gonna wanna check the manuals before you install it because there's gonna be a certain distance that it has to be from the glass. But essentially what they do is that if you have your detector here and you have a pane of window or a pane of glass here, such as a window, and the glass smashes, that noise is gonna trigger the detector and the alarm system will go off. Now, after you install these detectors, there's a good chance that you're gonna to wanna to test them just to make sure that they are working and that everything is gonna work as expected. As I said before, each manufacturer, they're gonna have a different recommended glass brick detector to use. We have found also in a pinch, you can sometimes go online and get the sounds of breaking glass and that sometimes will uh, trigger the detector, but it's not really recommended because it's not simulating the exact sound that's recommended by the manufacturer to test the device. So really getting the recommended glass break simulator is the best and most uh, secure way to make sure that your glass break detector is working properly and that it's gonna do what it's supposed to do. Honeywell is kind of unique as they have something called flex technology in the glass break simulator and the detector. Basically what this does is that their glass break detectors are listening for a low thud and a high crash. So a low pitch thud and a high pitch crash. On the simulator, when you go to use it, you're actually gonna put it into the test mode and then make a thud noise either by tapping the window or hitting something. When it hears that, it's gonna make the high pitch crash afterwards, which will trigger the glass break if it's made by Honeywell and if it's looking for that. Before you do do any testing on your glass break detectors or using your glass break simulators, one thing that you're gonna want to make sure is that the batteries in the simulator are good and that the batteries in the detector are not dead because that's gonna give you some trouble when you go to try to test. Now on the DSC side of things, there's the AFT100. It pretty much does the same thing as the Honeywell FG701, except it doesn't have that flex technology that Honeywell uses. But if you do have DSC glass brick detectors, the DSC AFT100 is going to be the, uh, the simulator that you're going to want to use to test those with. And also, there's the Interlogix 5709C-W. Just like the other devices, this will test glass brick detectors that are made by Interlogix. Each of these has some features pertinent to the manufacturer of the devices. So if you head over to the product pages, you'll be able to check out and see what each one does. But essentially, all these devices are used to test the glass break detectors. So if you have Honeywell glass break detectors, the FG701 is what you're gonna wanna use. If you have Interlogix glass break detectors, the Interlogix 5709C-W is gonna be the device that you wanna use. And if you have DSC glass break detectors, the AFT100, is gonna be the glass break simulator that you do wanna use. If you have any questions about glass break simulators, glass break detectors, or how to test them, feel free to give us a call at 888-818-7728. You can head over to our website, www.alarmgrid.com, or send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com. Did enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe, and if you wanna be notified when we post future videos, hit the notification button below, and we'll send you an update when we do so. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.